Whoa, this thing is freaking bright. Guys, today is a very special and amazing day. I finally got it. It finally came in. That's it. Ooh, this is a nice box. Check this out, guys. Ooh, let's tighten in there. Oh, pull it out. That's what she said. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh my God. It is here. It is here. I got it. I got my first Neo Sabres lightsaber. This box is good quality too. Damn. Nice packaging. Is this the top? Oh, okay. What does that say? What does it say? Whoa, that's good. Ooh. All right, so it says, it says Neo Sabres. Very nice. Never had a package like this. Okay. Let me, ooh, let me put this on the desk. Oh, oh, the weight is good. Are you ready for this? Oh my lordy. I got Cal Kestis' lightsaber. Oh my God, this thing is huge. Cause I can hold two hands down here. I think he does that in the in the game too. But two hands down here. Ooh, hold it up here. It's very chrome. I don't know if I already got my fingerprints on it or not. Oh, look at that. It looks so sexy. Oh my lordy. Oh, this is awesome. This is my first, oh, look at the attention to like detail and everything. So nice. I think this thing pulls out too. How do you pull it out? Do you just pull it? Oh yeah, well it's pretty tight, cool. So it goes out that far and then you just shove it back in I guess. All right, so yeah, this is your look at the handle. Very nice looking. All right, but what's special about this one is not only do you get this handle, it also comes with the broken handle. I don't know if you guys can see it, but look at that. So I can unscrew the handle and put this one on. Ooh, this is dangerous. A lot of pokey pokey. So you get a charger you get the manual uh, and retention screws. So you also get a nice blade plug, pretty cool. Uh, I think that's all the small stuff, the blade. And this is a, a NeoPixel blade. So there's LEDs inside the blade that lights up and makes it all bright and shiny. Okay, let's just, oh, that was easy to unscrew. Ooh, so I just turned on the switch, uh, which is nice that it came with juice. Plug it in, screwing on the damaged hilt. And would you look at that? It's just like the game. So freaking cool. Here you can look at the, the tip and just the attention to detail. Oh my lordy, that's so awesome. I have the blade plug in, so let's uh, turn it on with that. So, who are you, Cal Kestis? All right, that's pretty cool. So yeah, the bottom glows on this one, and that's why I really wanted this one, the Neo Sabres version. Um, ooh, it was plus it was on sale which is really nice. We've got some window emitters right here. Pretty cool. And this one is actually pretty, I think this one's accurate to the video game, not the window emitters, but this part right here, it's pretty uh, dark and brown and metallic as well. That part, so that's cool. But yeah, this is uh, the action button and the ignition button. This does nothing. But yeah, I just love this. It looks so good. 
And if you change the color, this bottom part will also change as well. Let me showcase that. Ooh, purple, right? And now this is purple. Pretty sweet. You got your smooth swing. Clash. I, I don't know everything yet, uh, all the controls, all the timings um, for all the other effects, but this is just the basic overview. Whoa, this thing is freaking bright. Um, so obviously it doesn't look like completely super accurate. In real life it is bright, but not as bright obviously as on camera, but. Let me showcase the other colors. So, who are you? Yeah, Kestis. Okay, so what you have to do is hold the action button and then push the ignition button. And then, all right. For some reason, red is like one of the hardest ones to like get to. But we have other sound fonts for that. Uh, orange, yellow is really nice. Uh, this one's yellow. But yeah, it looks kind of white, but you can see from the glow, it's pretty yellow. Pretty freaking cool. Even so, the bottom part glows yellow. That's what I love about it. Let me show you some of my favorite sound fonts. Uh, this one comes with like a Thor one. It's cool. But not what we want. This one's one of my favorites. It's Godzilla. Stomping, is walking. This one's my favorite, absolute favorite. Next one I want to show you, it's kind of similar, but it's from The Mandalorian. This is an M1 Starfighter. All right. Very nice. All the sound fonts that I bought will be linked down below where you can buy them. Here's a flickery Kylo Ren one. It's pretty cool. Looks pretty nice with the, uh, the new one as well. It's not as long, obviously, but still really nice looking. 
But again, this one's my favorite. Alright guys, yeah, so you can kind of see the difference in length. Um, the newer one obviously is unweathered. The uh, broken handle is weathered. Um, I just like the aesthetic of this one a little more. But yeah guys, this was the Cal Kestis lightsaber. It is $500, um, at least on sale it was. And I know that's a hefty price. I don't take that lightly. Um, it's definitely a treat, something you know you reward yourself with um, because these are expensive. But the quality of these are amazing. Again, I got it from Neo Sabers. Another website I was looking at was Art Sabers. Um, but yeah, these aren't chunky. Uh, the reason why they're expensive is they're fairly accurate. Uh, a good accurate size um, you can change the colors you can add sound fonts uh, you can do a lot of customization you can create your own blade styles there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes into it so yeah i love star wars i've loved it and been into it all my life uh i'm a, I'm a huge nerd uh, disney star wars has some great things that have come out of it such as jedi fallen order but they have had a lot of crappy things uh, disney star wars is has like one up, but then like five, five downs. But overall, Star Wars is fantastic. I hope to get Princess Leia's design. I think hers is very beautiful. Um, but yeah, comment below uh, what your favorite lightsaber design is and who, maybe who your favorite Jedi is, your favorite Star Wars movie. Um, but yeah, I would love to interact with you all. But again, sorry for a bunch of the uh, you know, Vegas video dumps. Uh, I didn't actually spend that long in Vegas. I didn't actually spend that long in Vegas. I just had a lot of content to make in Vegas. But yeah, I have all those videos set out throughout the month. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to take a pause between those two. Showcase Fan Expo, showcase this. But yeah, we'll get back to the travel and food videos very soon. Thank you guys for checking out this video and I hope to catch you in the next Cozy Experience. Peace.